Hi guys. 15 past nine, finally arrived. I'm now in one metro station. Kind of like a mixed feeling. First of all, it's goddamn hot. Uh, second of all, I need to find me a hotel or a hostel. Oh, my head. And yeah. I guess as soon as I find a hostel, a hotel, I'll let you, I'll let you know. 16th of August. Yeah, uh, finally just found a random hotel. I haven't even got inside, but just a very quick review. We're not in the city center yet. It's like one kilometer away, but this is quite different from Istanbul. I would say. Okay, take it easy, my friend. Let's see. I hope they have rooms, and I hope it's not too expensive. Or if it is, then it could be like three, four-star hotel. So apparently, I'm just gonna have some single-room hotel. And this is a single room hotel. It's nice. I got no complaints. Dude, what the fuck? I'm like one kilometer away from the city. <laughs> yeah, well, the balcony is not a fancy one. But hey, whoever comes to Vaughn, I really recommend this hotel. I paid like 60 uh, liras when I was in Trabzon for, for, a, for a bed. I mean, I got no complaint, the lady was nice, but 70 for an apartment? <laughs> I, can, I can live here. Okay, I gotta start to change and, and, and refresh myself after eight hours of a, nine hours almost, of a bus. Actually, ten. Anyway, see you soon. Van Shishte. Cine Van. Like a cinema. So now, guys, I'm walking uh, the, the main streets of Van. Kind of like a boulevard, if I, I think. Not 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 like boulevard boulevard, but main street and trying to end up somewhere in the city center. So I'm still on the mainstream, <coughs> main street. By the way, for those who can't see it, beautiful scenery, mountain just in the middle of the main street. I would have a better view if I go in the middle of the street, but I don't, I don't want to do that. They have a lot of places with one man, like Van uh, Gölü and Van Sayahat and Van whatever. It's like best Vaughn tour. You gotta go and ask that later on. But right now, I'm actually searching for, hey, Metro Tourism. That's how I came here. But right now, I need to uh, see, ask where is the museum is. Maybe I can get some more information about the population around here. But let me go first ask the tours. Hey, what up, guys? Um, so I walked around uh, 
one city center and met a couple of people. One a carpenter. I went to uh, and one also uh, from the tourist information and just ask you know if there how to get to Akhtabara church and how to get to the monastery and so on but um, unfortunately um, the fact that there is no Armenians here you know I don't know if there's any means for me just to go and see some rocks which I will eventually but I asked them if there's any Armenians left I mean they know the facts they say to, yeah it's you know these are Armenian ruins and Armenians used to live here and but now it's mainly Kurdish which was which came actually to surprise to me I thought the Kurds were more around like more south but one guy he said no this is actually mainly Kurdish Kurdish city right now, now modern days um, and a little Turkish and actually it's governed by the PKK the PKK is taking over this supposedly anyway I found a I found a very, very modern uh, shopping mall. Uh, it's, I mean, you feel like yourself in Europe. There's a restaurant, a movie theater, all the newest movies, you know, uh, all brand new clothing. So quite an impressive, I have to say, because the city itself seems like it's still in ruins somehow, but you find like the new and the old mixed up together anyway I'll just try and walk away my I'll just try to walk my way around myself and let you know more about the city as soon as I get to know more so see you soon actually look what I found a game station area I don't know when the last time I actually came to this kind of a place play planets bowling games I might, I might just play some couple of rounds. Why not? I haven't been playing for a long time. You know, because I'm here, why not? And by the way, people are looking at me like, who the fuck is this guy? Sandals, a backpacker, and doesn't speak Kurdish or Turkish. Well, I decided to leave. The machine actually swallowed four liters of my money and didn't give me a one game. <laughs> but I decided not to go and complain. Nobody speaks English here anyway. Man, I don't know what to do. I think I just gotta go and ask the this tourist information. Oh no, no, the, the, I mean the the tourism office, which the tourist information actually told me, and see if I can get some tours for tomorrow. Because there's no point for me to stay here more than tomorrow evening I just have to leave forward let's see so yeah guys now I'm traveling around the city and as you see there is a quite a rains about to come up it start to uh, quite a heavy wind around this area so I'll just walk around until it starts to rain. There's a lot of shops, different shops men here. There's a gaming shop and they have like all the brand new games that they ever you can have, you know, everything, telephones. Everything is here. So it's not nothing, they're not missing nothing from this area. Now you are watching downtown Vaughan. Most of the shops are the same, everywhere you go are the same. Pastelarias, cafeterias, uh, you know, all the shops are the same, that which you've seen in Istanbul. And it's nothing like, I'm kind of, like, you don't, you don't find something like some place are specialized in some things. Or maybe because I'm just tourist, I can't find it, but you don't see that here. Like, I didn't see anything that Trabzon was specialized in, or Van is specialized in, or... Istanbul is the specialized. You can find everything from everywhere. 